When we had last left Team Bald, they found themselves going through the back end of the Copper Coronet, first in search of the cool doll Littleman that was kidnapped by a murderous thief. A child-killing thief, no less, but uh, probably thief isn't the a child-killing murderer is more like it. Nonetheless, they found that and destroyed them in the process. Not Littleman, though. Littleman was fine. And also, they found all manner of screwed-up junk going on behind the scenes at the Copper Coronet. Slave trade in full action. And also, who could forget the weird gnarly passage to the Stinky Sewers, where a whole bunch of stinky dudes were hanging out. And there was a weird, sinister-sounding puzzle that needed solving, as well as a special friend that was killed and their blood taken. It was fucked up. This is Baldur's Gate 2, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back, jackass. <laughs> Fuck, I, it never gets old for me. It never gets old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I'm such a fucking idiot. It, it always, right. it tickles me so much just <laughs> to be I don't know what it is about welcome back and then it's some sort of like <laughs> half-assed insult. <laughs> Okay, well, this ain't great. We're going to have to make our way past wherever this weird booby trap is once more. Okay. Let's see, let's zoom out here. Yeah, this seems to be where we need to go, this big chamber. Alright, well, we'll just uh, aim everyone there and hope for the best. Oh my god, we've done it. <laughs> what? How did we not get hit by it? I have no idea where it's at. Good god, man. I thought we could really make do with... with just Nalia. But man, it sucks ass. <laughs> it sucks so much ass not having some kind of, like, very professional thief with us. Right? Rather than a part-time thief who is Nalia. Oh, it's Otyug and Ochre Jelly. There we go. Wow, it's immune to... quite a few different types of damage. Piercing, I guess. A good hit. For the needy! There we go, not too bad. Just a giant... This isn't With working. Poop drain, I guess, here. This isn't working. Okay. Good. Wow, there was just like some solidified shit here, too. Ugh. Okay. Anything else we can interact with in here aside from the gigantic drain? I guess that's it. Let's see what happens. There is a pool beneath this grate. The water is dark and slime filled. You could reach into it if you wish to. Fuck it, let's do it. Oh, God, it hurt me. Oh, but we got, okay, we got something out of it. Jesus. <laughs> the sound effects fucking frighten me. <laughs> you, <laughs> you kneel upon the grate and reach into the pool. You find something, but as you draw it out of the pool, you're bitten by some creature. Despite the pain, you draw an old shriveled hand out of the pool. Okay. Is this everything we needed? Is this all of it? I guess. This is a desiccated hand that you found in the sewers. Despite the moisture, the flesh has not rotted away. O okay. Alright. Let's see here. Let me find the page of my notebook here. Oh fuck, I got my Starfield notebook out. All right, my bad, my bad. Hold up, hold up. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and... Where's our puzzle solving? There we are. Perfect. Good. Okay, so let's take all these new items. We've got the berry stick. We've got a hand. Let's see if... That other old freak can tell us anything cool about him that may help us. 
I mean, from the sounds of it, whatever we're helping, whatever puzzle we're solving, the puzzle creator seems pretty fucked up <laughs> as well, right? Like, is this a oh, oh no! Holy shit! Who got fucked up? Who got caught in it? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we can make do here. We yes. can, we can survive this. It was the little bridge was the problem. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's just swap around here. Oh, nope, mage. And then right there. Stone to flesh, great. Oh fuck, a million kobolds. For the Doom God, I strike and I bet their asses aren't gonna activate any fucking boo- Oh, I got hit! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> there we are. All right then. Good, fine. Jesus Christ. What a fresh fucking hell. I mean, isn't there- there is also a spell that helps us detect booby traps, isn't there? How can I help? Fuck. I mean, should we- <laughs> I guess we need to use it, huh? What- what- do we have it? Good god, I don't know what it is. Detect invisibility? Concealed creatures? Uh, I don't think that includes booby traps, so I see no mention of that. Well, any objects are invisible. I don't know if that's quite what we're looking for, though. It's not invisible, is it? We're just too stupid to see it. <laughs> isn't, isn't that the issue? We're just too dumb? Okay. How the hell did we get through it the first time, though, huh? How'd that work out? Okay. Yes. Here goes nothing. Huh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Fuck yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a terrible way of doing things. <laughs> what a fucking terrible way to go through this. But man, I love that we are doing it, you know? It feels like, you know, at some point, every Baldur's Gate player should should go through such a, an event. Right? We're really appreciating the value of having a thief. We never really quite had that issue in Baldur's Gate 1. But now, we're fully experiencing the full breadth of emotions that this game can evoke. Qualo! God, I forgot how Qualo sounded. Ask what you will of me about the keys, and I shall give you what answers you are worthy of. Some questions I may not answer. The staff, what use is it to me? The staff shall seal the bargain and prove your worth. Oh, okay, does that mean it's the last one? Okay. Staff... Seal. Bargain. Prove. Worth. Just in case that means anything in particular. Fourth? Question mark? When should I use this hand? It was Vala's hand that cast the one into the depths. His suffering is of prime importance. Okay. So then it must be one, right? And... Okay... Prime... Importance... First... And then blood... Was... Nothing. Okay. Right, blood was nothing? Yeah. The staff I acquired from the kobold shaman will seal the deal, according to Qualo. According to Qualo, Vala's hand represents suffering, which is of prime importance. Presumably he's referring to the order in the something. 
Okay, I think we have it. So, it would be... Let's see, let's reason it out here. Prime importance, hand. And then... If staff is fourth, and ring is not first and not third, then ring must be second. So hand, ring, and then if blood, we don't know anything for it. It just fills in the blank, which means blood must be third. It has seeped into the very rocks themselves. And then staff must be last. Okay, good. Let's do a quick save, well. and let's give it a shot. Alrighty. Hey! The fucking recharging fart, huh? God, I forgot about it, too. <laughs> okay. Here we are. So. It must be done in the proper order. Well, we cannot save yet. We're still waiting on the fart to evaporate. My god, man, how long does the fart persist? What? Just as I would have I guess we can do a little bit of healing. Rates. Why not? Wow, we still cannot save. Get on. This will be simple. Is the fart really still there? No, no time way. at all. Beneath the earth, our fates await us. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Just think. We shan't need go far to lie in our graves. Okay, there we go. We got it. Okay, so first... <laughs> oh! What the fuck? <laughs> How did I choose which item to put there? <laughs> Hang on. What item did... How did I pick to put the item there? I just clicked on it. I thought it would give me a prompt. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's load that. Jeez. Let's refer to our journal again. Let's see here. Oh, God. Where is it? What the fuck? Oh, solve the riddle in the sewers. Okay. Yeah, there's a voice. There's a qualo. Okay. The ring doesn't belong in the pipe. Okay. Sure. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. I I put the hand there. How do, how do I use the hand? How do I make sure I use only the hand? Okay, I only have the hand on me. Right? I've only got the hand, so... I'm too far All away. Right, then. <laughs> Fucking hates it! Okay, well what if I do this? <laughs> nope. There we go. Oh shit, it's it's because I don't know the riddles anymore. I forgot the riddles. <laughs> I thought we wrote down the fucking riddles. Oh god. Okay. Sure. There are words scratched into the rust of the pipe. The handwriting looks like that of a child. Fala is no more, but he has left a thing behind. Give me a hand, and I shall help you in return. You wonder why someone would write such a thing such things on pipes. As you place the desiccated hand into the pipe, the fingers curl up into a fist. Fuck. Okay. Is there a way to just inspect them again? I don't think so. Alright, fuck it. Oh, that wasn't it. There we go. The hand. Shit. What? Okay. You know what? There's a better way to do this. All right. Let's see here. All right then. Team Bald, wait out here. 
Okay, and then you throw me the Look, fucking hand. I have no space for any more. Valigar, give me the, the blood and take the hand, the demon heart that I, <laughs> I've got for you. Okay, and I'll take the staff and then take another heart. And then who has the... What was the other object? The ring. Who's got that? Well, it sure shit ain't Valigar. Okay. Oh, fuck. Who has the ring? Is it in my bag? Oh, it is. Okay. Good. All right, so we've got them all now. Okay, and then I will pass this over to, like, Jahira. And give me this regen hat. <laughs> and I will use that for the time being. Look, I love the Helm of Balderon, but it's not necessary at the moment. Okay, good. And then we go right there. Cool. The fingers curl. As you place you the ring in the pipe, it glows it. briefly. Dark. As you pour the blood of Qualo's friend, the carrion crawler, into the pipe, the water turns crimson. As you place the staff into the pipe, the water briefly takes on oh takes on a greenish glow, and a strange halo oh my god, listen to this surrounds all of the pipes. From the filthy water oh shit. From the filthy water a sword rises to hover before you. You grasp the hilt, and a scream echoes through the sword the sewers. Oh shit, it's a two handed sword. Oh fuck, okay. What does this say? I have solved Qualo's riddle in the sewers and received a strange sword, which seems to have been trapped magically here for quite some time. Aw, oh, yeah, poop sword, baby! Fuck yeah, what's it do? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Here, let's throw it to Hair Dalis. Idea for me. Lilacor, or Lilacor. Is it really good? Oh shit, Mazzy was aglow. Okay. Well, I ended up not really needing the fun hat from Herdalis either. There we go. Okay. Lilark, Lilar, Lilarcor. Lawrence Lilacor was well known for not being brave, but for being an idiot. As the tale goes, the boastful Lilacor left his Lilar, Lilarcor left his village at the urging of his friends so that the great hero could do battle with a devious treant. He walked for days in the dead of winter, until, feverish, he found his target and began an epic wrestling match. Unfortunately, or perhaps luckily, the treant was nothing more than a craggy, old, normal oak. His friends had been jesting, not actually expecting Lilacor would go f to fight the fictitiously dangerous tree. That might have been the end of it. But Lilacor, not really knowing what a treant was in the first place, didn't realize the truth. He eventually uprooted the oak, and, marching proudly home, he declared himself a hero. Thus was born a laughing stock of epic proportions, and over time, the name Lilacor became the sacrificial fool in many tales of less than brilliance. It is not known whether this enchanted weapon is Lilarcor himself, perhaps imprisoned by an evil mage or some other odd coincidence of fate, but it certainly acts in a manner consistent with his level of competence. If it is he, he has never bemoaned his captivity. He might not realize or care that he is no longer a human. As a weapon, Lilarcor has its uses, but many a warrior has eventually given it away. Banter such as, Ouch, that must have hurt. Oh yeah, got him good. And beware my bite, for it might, might, might really hurt or something, is a constant barrage on a warrior's psyche. Whoa, immunity to charm and confusion. Holy shit. Okay. And I can talk to it? I can converse? So, are we gonna kill something now? Oh, this is how it sounds. Okay. 
The sword flashes for a moment, then sighs, since you are not impressed with its magnificence. Never mind, let's just continue on for now. Might you have any advice, O oh, sentient sword? What's your status sword? Is this the, the first game to have a voice-acted weapon? It can't be, right? Like, definitely there, there were must have been weapons in games that were... had, like, text. Were, were, like, speaking via text. But is this the first time it's actually been voiced? I wonder. Let's see. Have any advice? Advice, eh? Hmm. Well, besides working on your swordsmanship, you know, besides that, uh, I'd have to think. The sword whistles incredulously. Hmm. Find someone rich and kill him. Then find someone richer and kill them too. Hack and slash your way to fortune. Woohoo! <laughs> My god. It almost sounds like fucking. What's his name? Oh my god, what is his name? I just won the lottery, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, what is his name? The voice of Spider-Man, right? In the new games. Fuck, what is his name? Yuri Lowenthal, right? Maybe it is? No, couldn't be. So is this sword just going to be really annoying then? So are we gonna kill something now? What's your status, sword? What's my status? Well, since when do you care about me unless I'm impaled in something's guts? Oh, well, fine. Let me think for a minute. No, it couldn't be. Because they sound about the correct age, and this was so many years prior. I'd appreciate some quality time in my scabbard. Take a break! Oh, who am I kidding? Attack! Battle! Kill! <laughs> this is... What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened? There was just too much audio, it cut off? <laughs> that was not me, that was the game. Okay. Sure. Well, what if I do actually equip you? Okay. And what is this? This is a, yeah, this is a long sword. I simply have no room. Your item is on the ground. Yeah, I have no room either. Okay. Well, I mean, it is quite good. Immune to confusion and charm is amazing. What? Yes. Huh. Equipping it doesn't seem to have any noise effect. Maybe it's whenever we land a blow. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. We got a lot of XP for that, too. Get on with it. Sure. Well, let's Very go over well. here. Can we go chat with our old friend, Qualo? Maybe Qualo will have something to say. Hey, Qualo, we solved the puzzle. Yes? Who are you? What has happened to me? Do you not know me? We have spoken before. How did you get down here? I don't care. Be gone from my sight, old man. Excuse me, I haven't the time to speak with you at present. Do you not know me? I remember you faintly. It was not me that you spoke with. It was that thing, the person, I don't know. That which compelled me was the thing that spoke to you. Someone had dominated or charmed you? I don't think that it was human. Its conscience was too foreign. I can't remember. Gods, how long have I been here? What has happened to my family? How sad to have been kept prisoner in such a state and by what? The presence in the sword? It does not make sense. Well, he's free now, at least. I wonder how long he's been down here, in the sewers. What an awful thing to have happened to you. Damn, Qualo is peacing out. Uh-oh, Qualo's about to get fucking petrified or farted on. Can Just we watch it happen? Yeah, Qualo knows all the traps, apparently. Okay. This will be simple. Oh, let's roll on over here. There we go. Good. And head up. A quick bread oh, shit! All that stands between me and the sea's bottom. Sure enough, eh? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Who in the nine hells are you? Why have you barged in here with drone weapons and attacked my men? 
If you want to be buying some slaves from me, you're going about it the wrong way. So you're a slaver, are you? Your cruelty ends this day, scum. Slavery is illegal, sir. Turn yourself into the authorities. Excuse me, I think I've got the wrong houseboat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Your cruelty ends this day. We'll see about that, won't we? Adam, lads. Okay, fucking A. Let's go after the priest, I guess. Good. Flip on the AI. Okay. Get enraged. Good. The priest is nearly toast. Great. We'll launch some shit over here. This asshole. Good. Okay, and where's Herr Dalis? Up in it, huh? Yeah. Let's activate our little song situation. Good. And let's go after this other guard here. And then we can have you two finish off that guard. There we are. Great. Go after this dude. Wonderful. Okay. And then over here. Good. Yeah, the sword actually doesn't, like, talk in an annoying way. It's fairly Bring chill. I ain't done. Okay, it does talk a bit. <laughs> it's not terrible, though, right? Man, look at all the fucking slavers coming down here. Just getting, like, obliterated one at a time. I love it. Okay. Good. Let's see. Oh, shit, what happened to Hair Dalis here? Offensive spin. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Let's take some of these things to get ID'd. I can carry not another stitch. Let it fall to the ground then. Oh, Hagen's key. A scimitar. Lots of splint mail. Okay. Arrow plus one. Let's throw that onto Mazzy. There we are. How about the bow? It's a composite longbow plus one. Okay. We'll give that to Jahira just to hold. Grab the leather chest piece. Studded leather armor plus two. Anyone need that? I don't think so. Look, I have no space for any more. I've placed your item on the ground. Okay. Take these potions. Good. All right. Lovely. No time at all. Well, we really fucked them up. Got that key there we should take. And another bow, probably same. Yep. Okay. All right then. Holy shit, there's a giant booby trap right there in the floor. I Let's disarm that. God, we were able to do that. <laughs> okay. This sparrow is ready to fly. At Another your arrow, it seems. Arrow plus one. Give it to Mazzy. Great. Okay. Let's check these barrels real quick. Ooh, a bunch of fire arrows, it seems. Yep. Arrow of fire. Pass that over to you. Good. Guess we'll have you hold the Rod of Resurrection. What would you not? ask? Ooh, a whole bunch of gems. Okay. Is this our gem holding? Yeah. Good. And then... What? Yes! Cool. Alright, well... Very well. Holy shit. It's back here. Oh, fuck. It's a whole bunch of trolls in the room with a little girl. Okay. Let's fucking annihilate them. Oh my 
go. Great. Yeah, honestly, the, the sword ain't so bad. I kind of enjoy it, if anything. I am yours to command. Oh shit, Mazzy hit it with a fiery blast. There we go. Just as I would have thought. Good. I don't know you at all. You don't live here. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, my, my thanks to you, kind ma'am, for saving our lives. That monster surely would have killed us. Who is us? Are you multiple people? True enough, you're free now, so I suggest you flee while you can. Y yes, ma'am, I don't know where we will go. Score Nubel is so far away, but anything is better than fighting just so those evil men can laugh at us. Why did the slavers have so many children here? Oh my god, is it even worse? Right, like... <laughs> The slaver situation just seems to only get worse and worse. <laughs> right? Like, they find new creative ways of making you hate the slavers even more. Right? Like, it would have been enough if they were just slavers. I'd be like, yeah, fucking kill them. But now it's like, wow, we really want to kill... I, I want to kill them so much, maybe we should take them to a temple, bring them back to life, just so I can kill them again. All right, why did the slavers have so many children here? Here, child, here's 100 gold pieces. See if you can't get you and some of these other children back to where you came from. Never mind that, child, just run. I want to know about why. Why did the slavers have so many children here? I, I'm not sure. I think one of them said that the merchant in Calimport didn't want us anymore. We were worthless, they said. I... I think they would have killed us all if you hadn't saved us. Well, here's a hundred gold. Uh, perhaps that will enable some of you to return to your homes. Oh, oh, you are too kind, ma'am. This, this just might help some of us get back home. Thank you, tr truly. Indeed, you are free now. Go while you can. O okay, thank you again, ma'am. I am sure the Lady of Joy will smile on you. That is a wonderful thing you did, Lila Schnub. A lesser woman would have just let those children free to wander the streets, hungry and penniless. Well, I mean, you know, I'm most pleased it was a pretty fucked up situation. So <laughs> and what's a hundred gold to us at this point, right? <laughs> I'm pleased that you came across me when you did. This group does good things. I do love that there's more uses sort of in quests for money, you know? I'm very much enjoying that. Okay, let's peek up here. How is this connected to the sewers, by the way? I don't fully understand how that's working out. <laughs> I'm assuming there's just a part of the, like, transitory period between the houseboat, they said it was, and the sewers that we kind of skip over. Okay. Our oh, actions there's are another good. child here. We'll serve the greater balance. Be free. Who are you? Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you ever so much for letting me out of here. I was so frightened. I'm getting out of here. There you go. Wow, this entire holding area was just for one child. Okay. And another child. Be free. Uh, hello. Eek, who are you? You aren't here to hurt me too, are you? No, child, I'm here to let you free. Quickly now. Don't be daft, girl. You're free. Get moving. I'm here to let you free. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm free. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. No time at all. Okay. There we go. Man, I, I didn't think we would just <laughs> happen into the slavers like this, but man, I'm, I'm kind of glad we do. Ah, what is that? Fucking get out of there. Okay. It's one T. For the what are they God, doing here? I strike a blow. They're all over the fucking place out this way. I don't. Is that normal? Are they, are they normally in this all area right. in such great amounts? Glad to be of assistance. Oh shit! <laughs> there goes the sword. Okay, you know what? I'm still liking it. 
It's gonna take a lot more than that to annoy me. There we go. Did we resolve the booby traps in total? <gasps> I think so. You will suffer. Oh. oh yes. A slaver wizard. By the gods. Haven't we paid off enough of the council to not have you idiot Omnian soldiers barge in here every time you feel like filling your arrest quotas? Hold. You're not soldiers of Om. This changes things. Destroy these fools, men. Captain Hagen shall give a pearl to the one who makes the first kill. Oh, fuck. Little do you know we've already annihilated that fucking bastard. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of liking the, the talking sword so far. Okay. There we go. Let's fuck him up. Oh, there's another wizard here. Let's go after the wizard. Okay. Good. Okay. And the confusion is really procking big time. Ah, mayhap this will be the end. Great. Okay, let's yoink up some of this stuff. Oh, there's a booby trap right there. <laughs> this this music is really fun. All right, whoa 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 whoa. <laughs> I can carry nothing. Oh shit! Full shit. Fall to the ground then. Composite bow, yoinking that arrow plus one. Going to Mazzy. Get that shit stacked up. Good. Another composite bow plus one. I'm sure. Yep. Okay. You aren't encumbered. No. Thank goodness. Okay. What are these? Potion of Ice Dust. What is that? A shower of fine chunks of ice fly forth from the drinker of this potion, creating a light dusting of cold flakes that protects all within the area of effect from fire damage. This potion was created to counter fireball and similar spells. Oh. Protects all within area from fire damage for one round. Huh. Okay. Is that to counter effect what I've heard so much about? How folks would um, just toss a fireball into a room and clear it? Sounds like it. Okay. Here we are. Cloak of protection plus one. Good for anyone? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Okay. Let's also get these darts picked up. Actually useful. Good. Oh fuck. This is Herodalus we have a bunch of darts on. My bad. Good. Okay. That works. Okay, and then let's try and disarm Always that. Willing to try. Oh, fuck. It's still locked. Oh, shit. Lock failed. Or lockpick failed. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think we would be able to do it that way. Okay. Dart plus one. Wand. Pass it to here, Dalis. Wand of fear. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Nalia. Certainly try. Dire Charm. Oh, shit. Okay. Chill Touch. Maybe we see if we can get it on Hair Dalis, though. Okay, good, good, good. Come on, Dire Charm. Hell yes. Okay. I was worried it would be too high level. <laughs> Okay, where is Dire Charm at? There we are. Huh. 
Man, what a high competition tier of spells, though. Good God, okay. Probably should have read about it first. Chill Touch. When the caster completes this spell, a blue glow encompasses her hand. This energy attacks the life force of any living creature upon which the wizard makes a successful melee attack. Non-living creatures, such as golems and undead, are unaffected by this spell. The creature is punched for 1d2 fist damage, strength bonuses apply, and must make a saving throw versus spell or suffer 1d8 points of damage and receive a negative 2 Thacko penalty for 5 rounds. Oh, failed. Okay, and then let's yes. get the gem. I think there was at least one. I'm a, I, a fair gambit. Okay. All right, lovely. Very and well. what else was there? One arrow. Let's get that ID'd up. Acid arrow, toss it to Mazzy. Okay, good. And then, how about here? You thought this through. Nothing. What? Okay, what and how ask? about down this way? Let's also get a little bit of healing going on, why not? Get on with it! Just as I would have thought. Any more enemy Oh there's a booby trap! Oh my gosh. Oh oh god. Oh god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Fucking A. My spell. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even cast. Can I just rest through it? Just rest through it. Oh my god, are we gonna get poisoned to death? Holy shit, I think we might. <laughs> Look at us all getting fucked up. My spell has failed. Wow, 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 wow. Holy shit, we just barely... <laughs> we, we, we made it. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's rest. Oh, I can't rest here. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fine. Let's see. Let's get some heals going on. Oh my gosh, and because our party AI was on, Jahira just ran through like five million different spells and failed them all. Jeez, and Pete. Am I needed? Fate beckons us all. Okay. Let's try some of this. There we go. Let's pass around the heels. I'm still here. Actually, you know what? That's probably fine by now. I think we may have killed the worst of what's inside this of here already. We'll preserve our potions for the most part. Okay. Oh, is this a path? No. Yo, where is this place? This, this shit is huge. Okay. Oh, here's a doorway out. Maybe. Lightning bolt. Good for Hair Dalis. Nailed it. No time at all. Is this some sort of shelf? Oh fuck, it just shot me with a flamethrower. It made me panically take that. <laughs> okay, wow, it's All really right. sucking not having Yoshimo, it's gotta be said. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, we know there's going to be one hell of a poison booby trap right there. Maybe I just run up myself? Oh. How, <laughs> how did I not get hit by it? Okay. Oil of speed. Oh, there's one T. Good. The okay. Let's see if they can get up there safely. 
Fucking A. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. servant awaits. Let's see. Do we have a cure poison or anything like that? Shit, I don't fucking think so, dude. Let's throw it on here, Dalis. There we go. This party is making. Yes. Proud to be a uh, what? Very well. Mazzy ain't looking too fucking good, though. I think she'll survive this, though. I await your need. Regardless. Get on with it. I could try and toss a heal. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I cannot. Or, well, no. You have a... Oh, shit. I you don't have a heal? Something you need. Oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah, toss a heal over to Hair Dalis, actually, who needs it more. Okay. Just as I would have thought. No other dudes in here. Fair enough. Of course. Try and get these things picked open. Take a peek inside. Got shield and a potion. When this spell is cast, an invisible barrier comes into being in front of the wizard. It sets the wizard's armor class to four against all melee weapons and two against missile weapons. It also grants the wizard immunity from the spell Magic Missile. The effect lasts for the duration of the spell, or until dispelled. Oh, no dice. Please, it's almost beneath me. Okay. I go forth. Let's check in here. Anything else? Eh, seems fine. About this shit, does it need picking? Is that all? It does. I'd hope for more. Ugh. Oh Prepare fuck! Prepare me quickly, good Raven. Oh, bid me fond farewell while you can. <laughs> okay, protection from evil. Here, Dalis can't learn that, or do you already know it? Yeah, you do. Okay, Let's see what we can do. There we are. Good. I'm ready for anything. Yeah, we'll see if I this is booby trapped. Okay. This will be there we go. Taking this. Throw the arrow over. Good. Okay. Yes. Shocking grasp. Good for anyone? No. Throw it into a scroll case. Lovely. All right, I think that's everything aboard this weird slaver ship. No time at all. Okay, now there is another way out over here, which I do want to go through. But we're kind of at a critical health point, and we can't rest here. But if we go back down the way in which we came, we should be able to rest, right? Okay, there we are. I don't know why everyone is going anyway. back the other way. At yeah, your command. is just going to die <laughs> by going that direction. <laughs> okay. There we are. All right, then. Yeah, I almost can't believe that they didn't do more to, like, alleviate the pathing issue that was present in Baldur's Gate 1. Because it's, like, by far kind of the standout one singular issue with Baldur's Gate 2, <laughs> right? Okay, Let's see if we can rest without getting killed. Oh shit, carrying crawlers, but I think we're fine. <gasps> ah, I will be our mayhem. Mayhem. This will be the end. Yes. Oh, I am wounded terribly. I need to be healed if I'm to continue on, my sire. Oh. Fucking be too difficult. Okay, there we go. Try again. Oh shit, cobalts. Good, let's fuck him up. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Toss over that arrow. Lovely. Okay, maybe now we can rest. There we go. All right. 
Now, let's try resting again. Can we push our luck? Oh, no, oh, kobolds. For the Doom God, I struck. Okay. Man, the kobolds are really not giving us, like, any XP as well. I would say it's it's really just not even worth it to fight them, huh? Okay. There we go. Holy just as shit. I you must gather your party before venturing forth. This will be now, simple. let's run past the nightmare poison trap. There we go. And out this way. All right. Good. We'll wait for everyone to get here. Jesus, here, Dalus. Wait. <laughs> oh my God. Oh dear Lord, the pathing is so hellish. Okay. There we go. Good. What? Now let's head down no this. No time at all. Oh shit! We actually found it. Oh my God. Glad Nalia, turn it off. Turn it off. <gasps> Okay. Well, it's just Mazzy who got All hit. Right, then. That's fine. We can we can fix that. Slow poison. There we go. Holy shit. All right. Now where does this lead to? Slaver stockade. Oh. Oh shit, there's a slaver guard attacking us right here. Okay. Well, so fuck him up. I am your dude. Here we are. Good enough. Okay. Good. <gasps> now, I think maybe we head back to the promenade to do some selling. Yes. Which I can do in between videos, because we're really full up on shit. So let's head over here. There we go. And up this way. And where is it? The Joaquin's Very Promenade. Well. And where's the place with all the good shit? Adventurer Mart. Just as I would have thought. Okay. Good, good, good. Hopefully, nothing weird or fucked up happens. Right, we'd better try to speak to every vendor in here, just in case there's some weird bit of reactivity from one of our followers with them. Okay. There we are. And then in here. This will be simple. Yep, seems fine, seems normal. Quick saving, we'll just talk to everyone. Yep, same, same, the, the wyvern. Gotcha. Okay. Good. Place is too damn big. No time at all. And then... You. Nope, nothing, not the moment. Gareth. I trust all is well. Okay, dude is pissed. I forget, can we trade with Lucy? No. Lady Youth? Or Yuth? Okay. There we are. All right. Get on Fantastic. So All in between right videos, then. we'll sell off some of our trash items that are just like, you know, the composite longbows plus one. And all of the various gems that we have. And maybe we'll even buy something in between videos too. Right? Holy shit. I can't believe we got through the sewers like that. There are still more entry exit points in the sewers. So I'm kind of keen on going back in, you know? Part of me is wondering, man, should we drop, like, Valigar, maybe? I kind of like Valigar. Valigar is pretty competent, but we're kind of heavy loaded for melee people now, you know? I don't know. Like, I, I guess Mazzy, I'm, I'm, 
By melee people, I mean physical damage, because Mazzy isn't technically melee for us. We've been using Mazzy as, like, all ranged. Yeah, probably dump Valigar in exchange for... And we could even dump Nalia now, right? Yeah, maybe we'll dump Nalia and get a new follower. We know that Corgan guy's there. Someone also wrote in saying that there's another follower inside of the Copper Coronet that we didn't even look at or talk to. So maybe we would want to do that. Yeah, maybe when next we come back, we'll head back out to... Um, what do you call it? Area. And... Maybe we'll get rid of Valigar and we'll rest. That way, Jahira leaves. Right? And then we'll get those two folks back at um, the Copper Cornet, Corgan and the other person. Unless maybe if Jahira leaves, that might be timed. You know, I don't know. If Jahira leaves, maybe we need to go and immediately prioritize that. Right? So maybe we, maybe we don't do that just yet. <laughs> maybe maybe we hold off on Jahira leaving the party until we manage those new potential followers at the Copper Coronet. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. All right, until next time, please take care of each other. Mm -hmm.